how did Earnhardt used to sell you on pitting? He'd say, I'm in. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Trouble, man, big trouble. At least there. three cars. Somebody got into the back of the 16 car and turned him. I believe Bobby it was Gordon Bush, the 97 car. And the first contact may have been between the Roush teammates, Bush and Biffle. Uh, Jeff Gordon torn up. Sterling Marlin, who transferred from the open. Biffle trying to get restarted. That's just out the exhaust pipe. Joe Nemechek. Well, we see that all too often for Joe. That car has just been in the wrong place at the wrong time so many times this year. That's his second car of the weekend. Flat tire and nose damage on Gordon. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see here. It's his 16 car, and he gets turned. He gets... That's his teammate, Kurt Busch, behind him in the 97 car that gets into the back of him. He goes down and collects Jimmy Johnson in the 48, and then it just starts stacking up behind him. Look at Brian Vickers in the 25 just getting by. Boy, it looked like Michael did a good job of squeezing through there. A number of guys did, but a number of guys didn't as well. Boy, Darrell, about every four years we have an all-star race like this. It's like a full moon Saturday night. I just, I, you know, Mike, I kept saying, though, I had this feeling about tonight. I could just feel it in the air. Watch this right here, guys, right there just past the start-finish line. This is happening at over 180, almost 190 miles per hour. Now, listen, that was totally uncalled for. And you can say, well, I was bump drafting, but you don't bump draft at Charlotte Motor Speedway going down into turn one. Schrader involved. Marlon wrecked. Robbie Gordon's car that started. The next all-star challenge, car owner Jack Roush headed back for the garage. Let's show you some replays.